I just finished my workout, but then I realized that I don't have any food at home, which is pretty difficult if you want to record what I eat in a day, which is why I am now stopping by the grocery store to grab some food. So let's go! It's Sophie from Games by Brains and welcome to this what I eat in a day video. Now it is currently 1 p.m. and I did not consume any food yet, which is pretty typical for me. I only had a whole lot of water, I drank a black coffee and I had some BCAAs during my workout as you could see. And that is because I do intermittent fasting. Now if you do not know what intermittent fasting is or if you want to know more information about it, then please check out the fourth episode of my Getting Fit series as I explain everything about intermittent fasting in that video. So I just got back from the grocery store and I'm ready to make my first meal of the day. But I first wanted to show you the groceries that I got, as they are pretty typical for me. So these are the groceries that I got. I got some strawberries and I got some blueberries as fruit source. Now I really enjoy getting berries because you can actually eat a whole lot of them since they are not very calorie dense. And then for vegetables I got some broccoli, I got some carrots and a zucchini because I really enjoy steaming them. And then as a carb source, I got my purple sweet potatoes and I got some rice cakes, as you can see here. I also got some Greek yogurt because I just really enjoy adding that into my diet. It is a low fat one. And then I also bought some salmon and some chicken. And I also bought a 85% dark chocolate. final step is to give it a good stir and then you end up with something like this. Now I am the first one to admit that this does not look very pretty, but it is actually very tasty. So I am going to enjoy this right now. Hey guys! So I was getting pretty hungry, so I made myself a little snack. I made some rice cakes with chicken and I also added some shiracha sauce, I don't know how to pronounce it to spice it up a little. It is currently half past six or maybe seven I think and I'm going to make the second big meal of the day which is salmon with some steamed vegetables and I'm going to have some purple sweet potato with it. Now I really hope that you cannot hear my neighbors too much because it sounds like they're having a party and I'm not invited. <laughs> I'm now going to make the salmon, but I just quickly wanted to mention that I always cook my foods in oils, but that I do track them. Um, oils are fats and fats contain calories, so you do need to make sure that you are tracking the oils you're cooking with. And I always cook my food in rice oil because of the high smoke temperature. So that's a quick tip. So I am back at the exact same spot as where I left off, only is it now 9 p.m. and I am ready to make my last meal of the day, which is a snack. Now I am someone who craves sweet stuff in the evening, which is why I always try to calculate it in my macro so that I don't eat something that I should not eat. So for today I am making strawberries covered in dark chocolate. So I already measured everything out as you can see. I am having 100 grams of strawberries, 
and I'm having 37 grams of dark chocolate. I just finished with making my final meal for today, strawberries with chocolate, which I'm going to enjoy right now. And then my fast starts again until tomorrow, I think 1 p.m. Uh, I really hope that you enjoyed this what I eat in a day. It was a pretty accurate representation of what I normally eat. If you enjoyed this video, then please like it, subscribe and comment because that means a lot. And I hope to see you in my next video. Bye guys.